do you know if you're saved? And then after you've been saved, are you, have you become obedient to Christ in your life? When you accept Christ as Savior, immediately comes some goals. If you have no goals in life, how can you grow? Paul himself had set goals, and he's encouraged us in the book of Philippians to set goals. He encouraged the church there to have goals to become pleasing to God. In Philippians chapter 3, verse 14, Paul says, I press, I pursue the mark for the prize of the high calling of God. The Lord needs our help. He needs us to be sharing gospel, the gospel. He needs us in our churches to realize what he expects. He expects us as Christians, us that know him as Savior, to tell others that don't know him. So if you have accepted Christ as Savior, are you sharing? Are you sharing in the goal? Are you sharing in that of giving out the gospel? It is my prayer that you will take and consider in your heart the goal, the motivation of reaching that goal, because God, we need to magnify him. He is in heaven. Jesus left that heaven to come and die for you, and now our goal is that of pursuing heaven. And with that goal, it motivates us through our churches, it motivates us for for souls that don't know him, and it motivates us in the word of God. Will you set some goals? Will you study the word of God? And, in, and enjoy his word in your life, and through that, maintain goals. While you're in this earthly life, you need to have goals. You have been saved and accepted him as Savior to make goals for Christ. Christ comes into your heart and your life. The Holy Spirit comes in and lifts us, builds us, edifies us. Edification is so important. Because that edification helps us build goals to serve him in a better way.